All right, on today's video, we are going to chat about the Wolverine peptide stack. And what is a Wolverine? Well, the Wolverine, right, is a comic book character, and he's a good guy that basically is indestructible, right? He's a mutant. He heals very quickly, and that's the key here to this name, and he has a long lifespan, right? You can't take him down. You can't beat him up. And if you do, he will heal and he will come back even stronger. He has superhuman strength, a long lifespan, and the ability to heal quickly. And the reason we call the Wolverine peptide stack just that is because that stack of peptides, and it's two peptides in the stack, one is called BPC-157 and the other is TB-500, those two peptides allegedly can help you to heal quickly, rapidly, and can they can even make you come back stronger than you were before the injury. Now, remember, folks, I'm not your physician. I'm just a doctor who makes informational videos. So this is not a doctor-patient relationship. Nothing that I am telling you is medical advice. I'm just trying to teach you and educate you on peptides. So let's start with BP-157 or BPC-157. That initial stands for Body Protective Compound 157. And this peptide is very unique because it helps with healing, okay? It is a synthetic version of a compound that's found in gastric juice. It was discovered a long time ago, I believe, by a Russian scientist. And he found that that peptide found in gastri gastric juice could be used to help people heal quickly. In fact, in the rat studies, they did some rat studies to look at this peptide and they severed the Achilles tendon of some rats and they put the rats on BPC-157 and miraculously, the Achilles tendons healed. And I'm talking about a full rupture. They severed the tendon completely and it grew back together. Now, if that type of thing could happen in humans, then you get it. This could be a game changer for sports injuries, for wellness, for aging, and all types of things. And that's why doctors like myself who prescribe peptides for patients, they believe that these medications can do wonders for people. And I've seen it. I've seen patients do very well with BPC-157, and I've seen patients do very well with TB500. So BPC157 again is a synthetic version of a compound found in gastric juice. It's it really is um, wonderful or good at healing bone injuries, muscle injuries, tendon injuries and ligament injuries, right? I've had patients who've used it for meniscal injuries in the knee. I've had patients use it for tendonitis. I've had patients use it for inflammation. And in all of those patients or most of those patients they did receive a benefit from using that peptide. Now, how does it work? Well, they don't really understand the mechanisms of things, but what they believe happens is it increases blood flow to the area where the injured tendon or ligament or muscle is. And by increasing blood flow, it allows for the, micra the migration of healing cells to the injured area. And that is where these healing cells can resolve whatever damage has occurred to the tendon or the ligament or the muscle. So it increases blood flow, it increases uh, migration of cells that help to heal injuries, and those are two of the mechanisms by which BPC-157 works. So yes, if you were the Wolverine, if the Wolverine uh, comic book character were real, then perhaps he would have elevated levels of BPC-157, which allowed him to heal. Now, folks, I'm just kidding there. This is all for entertainment and education. But nonetheless, that is how this peptide works. Now, TB-500, this one too is special, and it also plays a role in healing. It helps with injury recovery. It helps with flexibility. It helps with strength and it helps with circulation. And it is a synthetic version of a protein fragment in the body called thymosin beta-4. Now remember, these peptides are not approved by uh, bodies like the FDA, and they're often just sold for research purposes. You have to be careful where you buy these peptides. You shouldn't just buy them anywhere online. You need to find out where, were, where they were made, what country um, 
uh, is, are they made in? The origin or the country in which they're made in is very important. And are they medically approved or medical grade peptides? I think you should personally discuss um, peptide use with a physician before even trying them. But then again, I'm a physician, so I'm somewhat biased. But again, many of these peptides are not FDA approved. But nonetheless, the, what we're discussing today is some of the benefits that are out there um, from the use of these peptides. And anyway, as you can see, BPC-157 and TB-500, those two peptides together make up the Wolverine peptide stack because just like the Wolverine uh, comic book character, these peptides promote healing, they promote injury recovery, and they help people to come back stronger and better uh, than they were before using the peptide. Now, just one more time, we'll go through a quick summary of what the two peptides do. BPC-157 speeds up the healing of tendons, ligaments, and muscle tissue. It supports recovery after injuries or surgeries. And it also, I forgot to mention earlier, improves gut health while reducing inflammation. So patients with colitis, Crohn's disease, irritable bowel, GERD, all types of GI problems, they may hypothetically benefit from the use of bpc 157. Now, TB500, okay, um, this is better for acceleration of tissue repair and wound healing. It improves flexibility and reduces stiffness. So TB500 might be something you would use even if you're not injured, just, just to increase uh, flexibility and to decrease inflammation and stiffness. Now, TB500 also supports muscle recovery and over, helps with overuse injury prevention. And there is some uh, research out there that suggests that it may help with cardiovascular and neurological healing, meaning perhaps after a stroke or perhaps after a heart attack, this might be a, medic, a peptide that would hypothetically benefit you. And again, that is TB500, which is thymosin beta 4, and BPC157 is the body protection compound. And the reason you want to stack these things together is because they're synergistic. They work similarly. And when you use two things that work similarly, often you will get an accelerated or more beneficial effect by using the two rather than each of them separately. So if you want it, you know, faster injury recovery, if you want more resilience, you know, to prevent injuries, if you want to reduce inflammation and pain, and if you just want to kind of give your body the support it needs, then you might consider this stack, the Wolverine stack, to help enhance your performance, to prevent injury. And certainly if you are injured, it may be something that you want to do to help um, resolve the injury and to kind of get back to things um, and to recover from the injury uh, at a faster pace. So that's the Wolverine stack, folks. If you enjoyed the video, please uh, hit the like button, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I love, medic I love medicine. I'm a longevity physician. I love the anti-aging space. And I'm going to bring you more exciting videos on peptides. If you've missed my other videos, please check them out. I have uh, videos on various peptides, growth hormone stimulators, uh, and other interesting things. So thanks for listening. I'll be back at you soon. God bless and have a good day. Bye.